Okay, so it's raining outside and I'm sitting, I'm sitting in here in my boring room. Uh, so yesterday I did something about the 3G cutting and uh, in this video I will show uh, the latest 3G cutting I'm doing on my uh, uh, secondary branches and then you would see different stages of 3G cuttings and the results so far. And on this plant, on this particular plant, which you're going to see later, um, I haven't let any fruit to grow. So it's, it's just getting into the final phase where I want the fruit to grow. Because pepper plants with 3G cutting, they give out the most number of fruit. So let's get into my garden right away and check different kinds of plants. So, the Y is here. Now we just hold everything from here on the equal size with the pruners. Cut, cut, everything gone. This plant is gonna entering into 3G cutting. It's in the second generation. And I will remove the extra leaves. That's it. So, all these big leaves are gonna go. See, and I will just leave the smaller pieces of leaves. Initially, anything's in the sides, bigger one is gonna go. That's vigorous, brutal, but I will tell you why. Because this plant is gonna give me the most number of fruit. Here we go. So, if that one also goes, and I will remove any flowers I see. Don't need them for now. This is gonna slow its growth for about 10 to 15 days. And after that, this plant is gonna grow vigorously. So, that's all. This is what I have left. So, I'll wait for these to grow, these to grow, these ones, these one, two on each. See, two nodes on each plant. This one doesn't have anything, so we just remove this side. Here we go. So, now, one branch divided into two, two divided into four, these four are divided into eight, and now I'll let these grow, and you will see the result as. So look at this pepper plant, it's full of fruit now. You can see tons of food on this. Tons of food. And after harvesting these ones, I would do another cutting on top and make it tertiary, tertiary, you know, layer on top. All the peppers, see this one is, this is the secondary shoots that have given the fruit pretty healthy I'm happy with the size and everything and this one is also gonna go for the same treatment after harvesting this fruit I'm giving it another week and then I would do it so peppers are doing pretty fine I have a lot in the fridge as well and on these plants as well so they're coming in little plant in a pot is also having a lot of fruit. You can see it's green now. It's going to turn red in a few days. So, And it's just the secondary roots, tertiary roots haven't, tertiary um, branches haven't come out yet. Another one, so you could see this is a different variety of peppers, but it's growing a lot. Capsicums and they're flowering a lot and I would not touch them for now. I want to have a 
fruit or two and then I would start pruning. This one is the banana pepper and still no signs of pepper. Not worried about that one. Banana pepper, still no sign. But it's gonna be huge. And then I have the pepper plant over here. Some of them are still pretty small because they're newly inducted. And look at this umbrella. This is one plant. Just one plant. It has a pepper somewhere. Where I saw it here. Where? There. And yeah. So you could see the amount of fruit that's gonna grow on this one plant. This whole umbrella type thing now. And that's what called 3G cutting. Thing on tomatoes as an experiment too and I'm telling you this one plant is giving me a lot, hundreds of them. This is one plant. That's the main stem coming out and you can see the amount of fruit everywhere. So this is all about 3G cutting. I hope the newcomers have learned a little bit of things and uh, thanks all for your appreciations and likes and everything. Until next, see you.